Yesterday was a day that broke hearts around the world as fire engulfed the sacred site of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Thankfully, the church is still standing. This is one of the most popular tourist attractions in France. Yesterday, people were posting on social media their pictures of visiting there, their regrets about not getting there. But thankfully, the church is still uh, mostly intact. French firefighters are saying the cause of the blaze was not immediately clear. Of course, an investigation is being launched, but they said it could be linked to the ongoing renovations at the 850-year-old monument. For generations, this has been a place of pilgrimage and prayer. Of course, Holy Week, one of the most holy weeks of the year. Good Friday, they always open it to these relics that are there. They have the relic of the Holy Crown, which is believed to be from the crown of thorns placed on the head of Jesus. A fragment believed to be from the wood of the cross. And one of the nails believed that the Romans used to crucify Jesus. Of course, at this point, the safety of the relics are not known. Rumor has it that they are safe. And of course, as the days unfold, we'll receive more information about that. Joining me to further unpack what happened yesterday at Notre Dame by Skype is Graham Singh. He is an Anglican pastor in one of the oldest churches in downtown Montreal. Graham, welcome. Cheryl, thank you for the, the opportunity to join you and join in our grieving at this, this terrible, terrible moment. Of course, as a pastor of a historic church for us here in Canada, but also you have a connection to Notre Dame in your family. Yeah, my wife was born uh, in Paris. Her grandfather uh, was, uh, he wasn't buried in the cathedral, but his funeral was there, like many residents who live around the cathedral, including uh, my wife's grandmother, she who was not evacuated in the end, but uh, there was a risk of her having to be evacuated. Uh, my father-in-law was the uh, was on the finance committee for the cathedral for a number of years. So we have lots of family connections. We've been watching the you know the the, the checking in on online of people saying where they are, how they're feeling, and so we're we're both listening into Canada as well as listening into uh, to our relatives in France. Tell me about the impact that we're seeing globally. This really sent shockwaves around the world. Is it because of the, 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 that it's a historic site? Is, it, is there a spiritual meaning to the fact that we all feel so impacted by seeing this iconic building burn? It's one of the things I think for, for Christians like me in churches, we, we find it perplexing. Why do people value these places? Do, do they see them as places of faith? or as places of community or places of history. And I think what we're seeing around the world is an outpouring of all of the above. Uh, here in Quebec, where I am, uh, it's like many places in Canada where a lot of the migrants here, many of them from France originally, some as far as 400 years ago, when they came over to the new world as it was then, they actually brought this church architecture with them, not metaphorically, but specifically the drawings, the blueprints. And so for a lot of Canadians and a lot of people in other parts of the world, these European churches also remind them of some heritage pretty close to home as well. You know, I watched people outside yesterday, it really touched my heart, singing hymns for hours outside, uh, saying prayers right on the street. Do you think that there's going to be a spiritual effect to this tragedy for all of us? Kind of remembering sometimes our roots, right? Which we often leave in the busyness of life. There's so many times, aren't there, around a tragic loss or around the death of a loved one or perhaps the birth of a, of a new child where people restore, they find their spirituality again. Uh, whether they find their religion or their faith, uh, uh, those, those are big questions, but they certainly find that they're asking spiritual questions. And certainly around Notre Dame, we're seeing people asking, what is the meaning of this place? Not only globally, but you know, people are saying, what is the meaning of this in, in, in my life? People are posting photos, aren't they, of just being in front of the church or maybe even being in front of another church and saying, this means something to me. And I think it's a brilliant question. What is the meaning of it? We're just running out of time, Graham, but I think you have a unique voice because you have a passion uh, in, in Quebec to restore some of these churches. Just tell me briefly about the work you're doing. So we've actually set up a new foundation, Cheryl, called the Trinity Centers Foundation, whose aim is to see a new life for uh, maybe a hundred of the best buildings in Canada, the best located, most historically beautiful. And we're working with a team from all around Canada to try to come up with some new plans of how to use these buildings. And I have to say, uh, in this case, a tragic accident of a fire, many buildings that are at risk for other reasons. And we're trying to say, how can we ask the question, what is the value for the future? I mm, love the work that you're doing. Thanks so much for joining us today, just to reflect on what this tragedy means. And of course, you know, there's a commitment now to rebuild, the funds are pouring in. So hopefully over the next number of years, we're gonna see a great restoration of this beautiful church. Thanks for joining me, Graham. Thank you, Cheryl.